Gente. Thank you for watching the next 4x4 at Far episode. In this episode, we prep for the week ahead, meet some sponsors, place a branding on the vehicles, welcome team members, and deal with last minute logistics. Had a superb morning, just finishing off now with uh, final bits of sponsor stickers and stuff like that. Uh, met with all the sponsors, said thank you, he's got ready, you're gonna have a big meeting on Sunday afternoon, start Monday, shop. More of the crew arriving now, so more arriving tomorrow, and it's going to be it's going to be pretty good. We hold the weather, hope the weather's going to hold out. Um, it looks like it's not going to rain this afternoon, but it should be clearing up from now on. The good news is the long road we're going to be going looks pretty good, so quite excited about that. So let's hope this works out. There's a sponsor. going well had a good night's sleep woke up early thinking about my logistics and planning um, but today is going to be a good day today we uh, fetch the rest of the team they fly in so much excitement around everyone have been together again we uh, are now rushing to a meeting because it's a weekend things took a bit slow this morning so we are just rushing to uh, um, Dusty Ducks Cafe or something like that, I, I can't remember. Um, to meet Craig from Chicago Riverboat. So quite excited. Possibly staying on a riverboat for a night. Do some screening, check, check some new friends, and then head head out the next morning. So anyway, that's only for later, in, later next week. Let's try and uh, um, let's try and get there on time. But we'll top up on shopping too, funny enough. Really? Can't forget that. Um, we need to top up on some food. Vegetables are a shortage in Botswana. So we're trying to navigate our way through that. Hopefully get some baguenya, which is not a vegetable by the way. Uh, and some kasnava, which is a vegetable. It's a spinach vegetable. And negotiating two huge potholes that I could use the tire in. Um, we love Mount, it's very cool. And I will catch up with you guys later. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, man? Yo, no, dude. My body is the what's going on. I'm just here. <laughs> Two days later, sure, thanks, man. Yeah. Where's my wife, Hey! Nice to meet you. Just basically, I left on the 17th. Thank you, Have you had any sleep? Yeah, yes, but no. Have you had Exactly, I'm just like. Here. I'm going to use it. <laughs> no, you're gonna, they're going to jack the front of the car up with a high lift. So what's going on? Why are they doing that? Um, I engaged four-wheel drive yesterday to get out of a muddy situation. And um, to get the vehicle out of the four-wheel drive, I had to unlock the hubs. So I normally reverse the vehicle to unlock it. And I did that a little too quick. And then I drove for about 100 k's with one of my hubs spinning. So we want to see if the auto and the locking hub is still intact so we're going to try and high lift the front of the vehicle up let's see how it goes awesome the third class you don't want to keep explaining because the kids they talk yeah so they see what they're doing what they're pointing and where they what the, 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 the kid sitting in the chair is doing um, so they pick up very quickly what the story is and they'll know, okay, well, now when I sit down, what's expected of me? Mm -hmm. And that process goes very quickly. Yeah. In the next episode, we finish packing our vehicles for the day, we leave Wilderness Safari accommodation, and we head into the first school. I had a bold idea to do three schools in one day, which is generally quite possible but I learned some information along the way which kind of slowed that down.